Hi, thanks for joining me today. I promised a video about these fractured portraits that I've been doing and um, inspired by the Zoom meetings that we are um, all kind of playing around with right now during our quarantine or our stay at home period of this uh, 2020. It's May and um, so I've been noticing uh, everything in these Zoom meetings um, from the technical difficulties to the, the frustration. Um, you know, when you, when you reach a family member at the end of their day and they've been working and homeschooling their children and the, uh, the tension's high and um, you'd rather be doing other things, like it's just the end of your day. And there's um, also coworkers um, who just, you know, they don't, they don't want to be on there anymore. They have too many things to think about. Sort of just trying to capture like the jitter of, of the now, the, what's happening right now. And, um, and maybe the monster in us a little bit, you know. So here I am, I am using these watercolor sets. Um, I really like them. They're, Pelican makes a really good one with a lot of different colors. I don't need a lot of colors. I tend to use the yellow, the black, and the greens. A little bit of red, but not much. You can see which ones I use the most. The black is actually purple right now because I squeezed in some tube paint to make it go a little bit further. I hate wasting, so I gotta, I gotta make these things last as long as I can. But this set I carry around with me, and so I can I can paint anytime, anywhere. In fact, I painted outside a couple days ago and it was pretty fantastic. Um, this, the whole point of these is to capture not a photographic face. So when you look at the nose and you think, oh my gosh, that's so awkward, that's what you want. So if you have to do this with your eyes closed, if you do a, like a blind contour drawing with a pencil and then go back and ink in the outline, you can do it that way. However you want to do it. There, there's a million ways to do it actually. And so this is just one of the ways I do it. I, I actually don't usually use the pencil first. Um, and I did it this time with the pencil, I think because I knew I was going to do a tutorial. But uh, they really are best if you use a Stettler pen and you just own it. You just, you know, if it doesn't turn out, you throw it away. Um, I, even when I use the pencil, I never go back and erase any pencil lines. So I might as well just use the pen to start with. Um, the point is to be free and not worry about the end product. Like I always just rip it out and throw it away if it's not great. It's... It's the experiment that is really the most important thing. It's where you learn the most. So if you're really careful about it, you're not going to get um, quite the same results. This yellow. Oh, I love this yellow. It's my favorite. I never use the yellow right out of the cake pan. I always use the uh, muddy it up with some other colors, sometimes red, orange, green. I really like that yellow with the black. But when I put it with the black, I actually have to clean it, use a paper towel, clean it out, and then go for that pure yellow. Um, I'm using a very thin brush, and that's something I don't always do either. You'll see on the next tutorial that I'll use a, I'll use a fatter brush and I'll cover a lot more space. I wanted to preserve a lot of white space on this one. Uh, I want to use these um, as, as like the Zoom meeting squares so each face that i'm doing i want to have next to the next to another face so i have been kind of conscious i've probably done 25 of these already and i'm kind of conscious about what the next one's going to be like if i covered the last one in orange i want the next one to be more white so that's how that's how this happened um these these paints blend really nicely together if you do it quickly and they dry really fast, which is nice, especially if you paint outside. If you do one painting and you get it halfway and you set it aside and you start another one, by the time you're ready to set that one aside, the first one will be completely dry and ready to go again. And so I do these in layers actually, and you'll see the video will break here in a second and you'll see a, a different view where I've done some other things. And that's only because 
Um, I had to set it aside to do some paper gluing. That'll happen here in a minute. I'm flicking the paint on there right now. Okay, so you can see the words that I've kind of, uh, I've carved that into the background. So I don't really show that process, but basically it's just a uh, collage. So I've glued those down and um, funny enough, those are Emily Post's etiquette page um, from the section about funerals where it teaches you how to write a thank you note after a funeral so bizarre etiquette is so bizarre I love that Emily Post book I got it at a garage sale or something and I paid way too much for it and I'm ripping the pages out which I love I love that and actually I ripped the page out didn't even look at it I just open it rip a few pages and then I stuffed it in my backpack rode my bike to the studio and then I painted and then when I went to put them into this picture I realized what that page was and I don't know, it just adds to it. It's almost like pulling a tarot card. It's like meant to be. So here I fast forwarded again and you can kind of see how I've used a white pen and I use these white gel rollers or white acrylic pens to come in with some detail. So you can see some detail on the lower left underneath the eye and then you can see where the eye has some highlights. That's all done with a gel pen. So there you have it. If you have any questions, uh, please put comments down below and I'd love to answer um, any questions you might have about which pens I'm using. When I say Stettler pens, you can use Faber-Castell pens. They're waterproof. That's the key is it has to be waterproof um, to do this watercolor technique and a Sharpie will not do the job. So thanks so much. Check out the next tutorial where I'll use slightly different techniques and we'll see you soon. Thank you so much.